Trevor, get me. No, 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 what are you doing? Oh, hey guys. Hey, how are you? Uh, come on in, hey. Uh, sorry, uh, thanks for the phone call, man. I um, don't normally have people come through on the weekend. Come on in, this is, um, this is the stand pad, you know? This is where I live. Um, cool. uh, you feel yeah. like a chip? No, no, no thanks, Stanley. Uh, no worries, mate. I don't normally have a lot of people here, but you know, um, this is pretty much my place. I've had this for a few years. Um, as you can see, I, I uh, spend some time making models. I quite like making models. I like to um, create little scenes. I'm working on this model at the moment. This is part of my ideal Kitworth centre that I'm building out. Um, still got the containment container, the isolation container, and um, that goes in there. Oh, that's, that's good to smell that. Yeah, yeah, do oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that's um that's this is Wendy Kay. The real Wendy Kay. Wendy was uh, a nurse at the containment hospital. So she's a lovely lady. Obviously, um, the fact that I've named my catcher after Wendy and, and today Wendy K too, is because she was at the front line of caption. She was brilliant all the time. So this here is the invitation to the Kitworth City Council Ball. And we were going to go to that. I finally got the guts to ask her out. And uh, I went to pick her up and take her to the ball. And she had been compromised. This was before they had isolation wards. I could see straight away she'd been infected. So uh, instead of taking her out, I locked her up, I guess. I mean, she was, she was my supermodel. You know, I've always been into models. This one here, this is one of my next models. But as you can see, unlike her, it's a little plain. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Um, look, come this way, I'll show you some other stuff, eh? Right, wait till you see what's in here. Mind your head, big guy. Ah. Come on guys, come on through. Come this way, eh? This is amazing. Thank you, thank you. This is 20 years of my life here. Look, I'll show you where this building goes. To me, it fits right here in the new, improved version of Kitworth City. I've spent ages making this. This is how I, I would like to see Kitworth in the years come. Like for example, check this out. You know we've got the container in here. Well that door leads to an open area. We've never had an open area in ideal situation. We'd only have C grades anyway. We'd only have a couple of them. So um, they could free range and, and free range is better. So they always say that on TV. Free range is better. Let them walk around. They'll have a lot more fun. There you go. It's the little details that count, eh? You see this guy here? Come over here. You wouldn't have seen this before. See that there? Having a wee. Morning, you guys. Well, you're here early, aren't you? Hmm? Couldn't you sleep? Huh. Wait a minute.
So I'm not really too concerned about Mickey not turning up to work today. Um, it's almost becoming the standard operational procedure that on a Monday morning he is, he is late. I mean, he's a young fella. He's got a he's got a social life, so we can um, pop round there in an hour or so. Uh, it doesn't need to be recorded. Doesn't need to be reported. Um, other assistants, you know, they're late two days in a row, and I'll have them on a form straight away, and they have to fill that form in themselves. <laughs> So here we are at Kipworth's finest accommodation. Of course, right on the edge of the dead zone. Cheaper. Now, remember, shh, okay? Flatmates have probably been working all night and uh, trying to sleep in, so we don't use the door. We just come around to the window here. You can see right into his room. There we go. Oh, wow, look at all the bottles. He did have a blinder. <gasps> Fuck, hey, oh, back off, back off, back off. See that? He's got a woman, mate. How the hell did he do that? Far out. Um, look, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, you guys help me with the rounds, is that a good idea? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, because um, give him a couple more hours, huh? Though he probably only needs 30 more seconds. <laughs> nah, Mick, he's, 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 done, he's done some good work, and um, you know, I think a little bit more time and effort, and he, he could be quite a good officer, you know, he could be, he could be the one that uh, replaces me when, um, when, uh, and if I ever retire, you know? Nah, totally clear. Not even, not even a sign, so. Good, on to the next one, eh? got a couple more houses in this area but it's quite good you look around here and a quick look inside yeah there's 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 no sign of movement in there at all um we don't need to panic we've got the whole morning to do this and um so you know relax you know someone used to live here eh so Here's the zone we're working today. Here we go. So what do we got? So we have a post-C grade body right here. Can you see it? Ah, uh, yeah. So I might as well show you where it is. Fantastic. Let's go there, mate. Let's go. Right. Yeah. All right. So the camera is under this floor. Yep. And the body is about right over there. Fantastic. See? So what we've got here is we've got a post C grade. So body is long gone. It's not my job anymore. I don't have to fight this guy. We'll call in specialists, we'll call in uh, Chester, call, and he will exhume the body and uh, find any evidence of, of infection or, or what, why the person's down there. Maybe it's a tradesman underneath the house. Maybe it's a really bad stalker. You know, someone's got trapped under the house. Um, he'll get the body out. Thanks, Hugh, mate. No worries. Another great day at the office, mate. <laughs> Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so this is control centre. This is uh, where we have our advanced uh, surveillance teams in action. They have a ground cam that goes into the building and clears many areas without us having to even make entry into the building. They're an amazing system and we use them to save us time. They also to keep us safe. You know, we go in there, we can see exactly where we're going, we go straight to the to the job and we can finish it. But I mentioned it saves us time. Hey, Yuk. That's right. It's fantastic, eh? Fantastic job. Fantastic job. Fantastic job. Fantastic, <laughs> a fantastic job. <laughs> Sorry, let's say hey, It always takes time. He gets lost. I've never met a man who get lost so much. That's right. Ah, oh, here he is. Hey, Christ, Chester, come on in. Come on. Hey, you have all the footage and we'll sort this out, it's just over. Put that in your report. Show me the mark. All right. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 
operation. Just oh, get it out of here. Don't worry, he's just professional. Um, we should probably go. <laughs> On a hell of a morning, eh? Crazy, eh? Just over there is, is safety and non-infection. 50 metres of water, and you're in the affected zone. Thank God the fuckers can't Andy, swim, mate. Uh, I think that's, uh, so we, I think that's a sea grave. Should we get him or? No, um, i tell you what. Uh, two and a half more miles. Ah. He's going to be zone eight's problem, eight. Hey. All right. Sorry, are you going to put that on? No. No, you won't put that on, eh? Good on you. Thanks, mate. Right. Um, this is just another welfare check. Um, this is a lady whose daughter got infected quite a while ago, and um, she was really close. G'day, hey, Glenda. How are you? Hi. Good, Stanley. Yeah, well, hey, look. Um, I've got a film crew with me today. They're just doing a little documentary about me and, and my work. Is it right if they come in too? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah cool, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, guys. So, just through up here. How have you been? Uh, fine. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Emily's good? Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Ah, oh, hello, Emily. How are you? This is Emily, guys. So, uh, yeah, no, she's looking uh, bad in the tin, isn't she? It's, it's all dropping away, isn't it, really? You know how we talked about um, at some stage we would be good for her own safety to, to contain her at Kitworth Centre? What do you think about that? Uh, you're not taking my baby, Stanley. I won't, I won't take your baby. I'm just going to make sure she's safe. I understand it was someone once, but there's no chance for a C grade. They are, they are totally, if all the all the internal system has closed down. We can't save them in any way. Um, She's fine. Okay, but you can call me anytime, can't you? Sure. 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 And and, and I'm going to start coming back every two or three days now, not every week, because she is definitely not getting better. Sorry. Okay. Thanks. I'll find my way up, thanks. See you. Okay. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you. Sorry. This is great. Fresh roadkill, man. This will work perfectly. Where'd those guys go? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's he's right here. What? What's going on? Oh shit, here he comes. This way. The fuck is this? Jesus Christ, mate! Sit down! Oh, come on. Oh, come on. 